Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Or tonight? It's nighttime. I'm shooting at night because daytime had too many things, and the last two days had also things. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to do a nighttime because I can. Um, so here we are. I wanted to tell you a little bit more about The Art Spirit by Robert Henry. Um, I'm just taking this in a little bit at a time. Um, I'm only on page 25, but I just read a little bit every day and ingest it and eat it and swallow it and chew it up and swallow it again and then regurgitate it up and chew it and swallow it again. And, um, it's really inspiring. It's just, uh, it's really good. And last time I was talking about it, I was saying it's just like a bunch of little chunks. I'm in some like bigger chunks that are like full on, like 10 page letters he wrote to his classes and stuff. And um, so that is a little bit different. And um, he is really only hitting in the two big letters that he wrote. He's only really hitting one main topic in each letter and kind of goes around a bunch of different ways and says a bunch of good stuff to nail the um, topic. But I really think his stuff hits harder um, in the short bursts. Um, but again, this is still really good. The longer stuff is still really good. I just prefer the shorter bursts. Um, I think they, I think they work better. <sighs> so that's that. Um, I haven't really been reading Room to Dream or um, Visions of Cody the last uh, couple days. Um, I've had a really kind of busy week and weekend. Um, I. Uh, I, I did some stuff, and um, hopefully it's something I'll be able to talk about um, soon. But um, it was quite fun. So there you go, Hitchcock. Um, but I did want to show you something else. Something that is new. Something that is going to be out soon. Yes. My new chat book. Okay. This is called Shit Poems. Now, you might notice the wonderful artwork. I, I did that. I did that myself. Um, but I am so flippin' excited about this because a um, couple things. The covers are these thinner, recycled cardstock covers that feel amazing there's texture like it just like listen guys listen asm army if you guys are weird paper junkies okay that you're gonna dig this a whole lot so um i got these new cardstock covers but the thing, the thing, the thing, I finally found, I don't know if you'll be able to tell in this light, I finally got some decent, better than decent, good newsprint to have my chapbooks printed with. So we have this textured, like nice cover with newsprint pages are you joking oh my god it's so good oh it smells so nice it's so soft um and i'll let you guess what this book is about but um uh, i'll give you a hint um i'm very on the nose okay like there there is not a lot of metaphor here um which is good, because if you take this and read it in the bathroom, 
to like kind of inspire you during your moments in there and you run out of toilet paper these pages are so soft and silky but strong that um, you could just rip a page out and use that um, and again these are limited edition there's only 25 of these made um, they are all signed and numbered <clears throat> but the other thing about this that is just so like lovely to me um, let me give you an example here oh, I probably could have just done that but no I'm trying to like pull something up out of here okay these two okay one night and shit poems these are the same length okay they are the same page number okay this thing is like kind of big and bulky this feels amazing i'm gonna just come out and say it it's like reading a penguin paperback i, I said it i don't care i love the way this feels so anyway, so again, this is like 32 pages. We have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 poems in here. The book is dedicated to my colon with whom I could not have made this. It wouldn't have been possible. So um, run on over to my Etsy shop. Link in the description below. So you can um, be one of the lucky people to get this hot steaming pile delivered right to your door yeah um and then i got some big news coming up too guys because i'm always about big news it's a big news monday um there's gonna be some changes on some stuff and i'm so excited about it and um i don't know i should probably um shit or get off the pot Am I right, guys? Is that too on the nose for you, too? It's so funny, because the grosser my work is, the more people enjoy it and pick it up and snatch it up. And the more chill and normal my stuff is, it just, um, it almost, like, flutters by like a um, strange moth if you're standing outside on a porch with a porch light on, you know? Whereas stuff like this is like getting hit in the face with a baseball. So um, we'll see how this goes. And if this sells well, um, I might just start writing hardcore erotica poetry um, and see what happens next. But, um, you know, come see, come saw, carpe diem, other words in Latin, and um, things like that. Spanish, maybe. So um, let me know down below if you are excited to get your hands on my shit. And um, we will talk soon. Take care, everybody.